If you're in Southern California and suddenly you see unripe fruit falling off of your fig tree, there's a good chance you have an infestation of black fig fly. Black fig fly is a serious invasive pest of figs in Southern California. Originally from the Mediterranean, black fig fly was first detected in the state in 2021, and as of mid-2024, can be found from San Diego up to Santa Barbara County and east into San Bernardino and Riverside counties. While they aren't yet found in the major fig growing regions of California, black fig flies can be a major issue for growers and homeowners in Southern California, causing people to lose many of their figs before they are even ripe. Adult black fig flies live up to their name. They're small and black with bright red eyes and feed on the white fig latex from stems and fruit. By themselves, they aren't an issue, but females lay their eggs inside of unripe fig fruit, which hatch into these small maggots. The maggots tunnel through the developing fruit, feeding on the insides and causing the fruit to drop before it can ripen. Larvae then emerge from the fruit and pupate in the ground before emerging as adult flies and starting the process all over again. Black fig flies can have four to six generations per year, depending on weather and climate. So how can you tell if you have black fig fly? Well, first, keep an eye out for fallen unripe fruit. This is usually the first and clearest sign of black fig fly infestation. To confirm, take a closer look at the fruit and see if there are small dark round holes like these. These are the exit holes where black fig fly larvae tunnel out of the fruit and drop to the ground. If you cut the fruit open, you'll see brown tunnels connected to the exit hole where larvae were feeding. And in many cases, you'll still find some larvae inside of the fruit as well. But once you've confirmed you have an infestation of black fig fly, what can you do to protect your figs from this pest? Unfortunately, not a lot is known about how best to manage black fig fly, and research is ongoing. But there are some important steps you can take. First, get rid of any fallen fruit and throw it in the garbage instead of composting. This will remove many larvae before they can enter the soil and pupate, and help keep black fig fly populations down. You can also cover the ground under your fig tree with plastic mulch or a tarp to prevent black fig fly larvae from entering the soil. Setting up several McPhail traps like this one baited with terula yeast will attract and trap black fig fly adults and may keep them from getting to your fruit. The traps and baits are commercially available and can also be used to monitor for black fig fly adults if you're worried they may be in your area. If black fig flies are present, you can protect young fruit by individually bagging them, which keeps the adult flies from laying eggs. Do this as soon as possible since black fig flies attack immature fruit. While some lures or insecticidal baits like GF120 Naturalite are being tested and seem promising, there's currently nothing registered for use against black fig fly. So for now, sanitation, trapping, and bagging fruits are the main tools to use against this pest. Finally, don't move figs from one area to another, and especially don't move figs from Southern California out of the region. This will help prevent black fig fly from spreading to new areas or infesting large commercial fig orchards. So keep an eye out for fallen unripe figs and check any you find for exit holes and brownish tunnels inside. Vigilance and prevention are key for keeping your figs safe from black fig fly. If you want to learn more, check out the articles listed in the description and the page on black fig fly from UC Riverside for updates on treatment options as research progresses.